welcome back to Jazz's Angel number 10. I'm super excited for today's reading because today we are doing a weekly pick a card okay what is going down in terms of love for us this week uh, before we get started DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading you can ask whatever question you want for your reading like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next so yeah you can pick more than one pile okay we have four piles today group one with the purplish gold stone group two with the yellow stone group three with the pink stone and group four with the blue stone so just take three deep mindful breaths center yourself center your intuition and pick the pile or the piles that you're being called to and we're just gonna get started all right group one with the purplish gold stone let's get right into it okay what do you guys have coming towards you in terms of love this week so the first card we have that was under your stone is speak your mind okay okay all right all right all right Okay, it sounds like conversations are being had. That's what it feels like for me. Speak your mind. I feel like you're being given the opportunity to kind of tie up some loose ends that you may have with someone or to have a conversation with someone. Um, and it's kind of like a rare opportunity. So it's very important for you guys to be very forthcoming with how you feel, with how whatever you experience with this person shaped you. Um, you know, to really be honest, open and honest about how you feel about the current situation or how you feel like a situation that you had in the past with this person played out and you know how you feel about it and your thoughts your opinions it's important that you speak your mind and i just feel like it's really like a short window of opportunity it's kind of like we got one chance here and you don't want to have you guys ever experienced like you got in like a tiff or an argument with someone and you think about like all the things you wish you would have said like you go home that day and you're like oh i wish i would have said xyz because i know that would have got to them or da 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 it's kind of like that kind of energy where it's like you don't want to it's like you need to leave no st stone left unturned like definitely get it off of your chest everything that you're feeling in regards to the situation in this person so yeah let's keep going okay so we have speak your mind finding common ground and fun times with friends those are the cards that came through from the romance deck so to be completely honest I feel you finding common ground with a situation that made you uncomfortable and this isn't about closure it has nothing to do with closure depending on who you're dealing with and what you've been through with them and where you are in your storyline with that person this really doesn't have anything to do with like closing any cycle necessarily but it's just like important that you let them know that whatever they did either you liked it or it's not okay or how it made you feel conversations 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 it's important to have conversations and also don't be afraid to initiate these conversations because otherwise you'll always be waiting for someone else to exercise their free will and do something that's in alignment with what you want the only thing that we can really control is ourselves so don't be afraid to reach out and have this conversation because we have good energy this week for it so if you've really been wanting to get something off your chest this is a good week to say you know what I'm just gonna jump up I'm just gonna do this you know I'm just gonna do it and then we have fun times with friends so I see you guys in a really good energy after this. I don't feel like this conversation is ending with like haste and discomfort and, you know, further distrust, etc. I feel like it's leaving you guys with a really positive energy. So let me just pull from the romance deck, okay, and see what else we're dealing with in terms of love this week. Yeah, we have the love yourself first card at the bottom of the card. It says that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like that's the importance of having this conversation with this person. That's the reason that it's important for you guys to focus on yourself and what will benefit you basically getting out everything that you have to say. I feel like that is so important because it's like, first of all, it's going to make you more romantically attractive. This person will understand by the end of the conversation that they have to respect you and that you have boundaries, etc. But beyond that, it makes it so you're in alignment with what you actually want. So we have free yourself and retreat. So this is going to be a bit of a chill week, it seems. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going to speak too soon because I did that just like a couple days ago with a different spread and yikes. Okay, so we have the retreat card. At the bottom of this one, it says it's time to disconnect from the world. I think it's definitely time to kind of check in with yourself, check in about how you're feeling. You know what's crazy? I don't know about you guys, but... 
the energy in the world has just been so insane lately and i'm not talking about stuff you would see on the news i'm talking about like in here how the frequency of the planet has made me feel the other day i literally i said you know what i'm not gonna do anything today i'm not gonna you know record any videos i'm not feeling it i don't feel good i feel down i feel very emotionally unstable um and i was like by the end of the day, I'm going to know what's wrong with me because for a few days, I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I was just so sad. And then it all came to a head yesterday. Was that yesterday? It all came to a head yesterday and I'm good now because I figured it out. But you know, it's, it's important for you guys to just take a day someday this week take a day and really think about how it is that you feel and really work through those emotions if there's any negative emotions that you're feeling for me it's not that i didn't know it's just it was a combination of multiple things and a lot of them i didn't even want to address and i didn't want to go through that stuff i was not i didn't think i was ready for it but i forced myself to work through some of that emotional stuff and i figured it out um but it's it's time for you guys to take a step back and do a a, a mental health check-in with yourself you know and then we have free yourself at the bottom of this one it says it's time to take back control of your life so maybe you guys feel like you've just not gotten anything that you wanted lately maybe you feel like you know you've really been at the whim of the universe or other people and you just haven't felt in control that is how I felt the other day. I felt very out of control and I didn't know where it was coming from. And I'm like, there's something going on, but I really don't even want to address it. I don't want to open up. I don't want to make it worse. Don't be afraid to make things worse, babe. It's, it's definitely time for you to open up with yourself, okay? And have these conversations with yourself and really make sure you're okay in here because it is just so important. It's so important. And then we have um, love yourself first, which we already talked about. So you guys get it. That's what we've been talking about this whole time. So let me just pull some tarot and see what else we're going to be going through this week for loves. Seven of Cups in reverse, Four of Staffs in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like you guys need to take a moment this week to reanalyze what your idea of love is, what you've learned that love is through past experiences and what you want for the future so what i mean one of the things that i had to work through and i'm really spilling tea here okay um i i like to tell you guys details but i don't tell you like details the first relationship that i had the first person that i uh energetically exchanged with if you know what i'm saying um they taught me some things about love that are just not true and I had to address them yesterday and it was very, very hard and I'm still not fully okay. And I don't want you guys to feel bad because that's not why I'm sharing this. I'm still not fully okay because it's some hard stuff that I had to personally work through, but I had to address the very, very beginning so I could realize why I am where I am right now. You know what I mean? Because I had some untrue ideas of what love was that I had learned from way back, way back. You know, so it's kind of like you guys need to have that moment, but maybe on a smaller scale or maybe you're where I am and you're you're just like you're you really need to dive deep regardless of where you are. It's important to kind of maybe even if you need to write it out, reanalyze what your idea of love is and how you will know you're experiencing love in the future. Does that make sense? So you kind of have to write out, okay, what is love? <laughs> what is love? But it's like you guys kind of have to write out or just address like what your idea of love is to make sure that's what you're getting from your relationships in the future. It's definitely like, um, it just feels like a mental health check-in, like time with self. Um, and that's what all these cards are about. The Eight of Swords is kind of like, we're at a standstill a bit in terms of your love life, just because, first of all, not everyone gets this opportunity. Not everyone gets an opportunity to hash things out with people from the past. It's actually quite rare that you actually get to conversate with people and you can both come to a common ground understanding, like such a rare opportunity. So if you get this opportunity, definitely don't pass it up. But you can also do this internally by just getting an understanding of what it was that you experienced in the past, 
um, and you know kind of redefining what love is so you can make sure that you get that in your future not more of what you've experienced in your past if what you experienced in your past is not what you would consider love <laughs> so that's what this is all about four of staffs in reverse just reanalyzing seven of cups in reverse um, being crystal clear with self like what love is to you okay we're gonna pull now uh, I feel like that's enough like I feel like that's enough to work on I don't want to put more on your plate because this seems more like a week where you're we're just working away or working away you're doing great sweeties you're doing great group one um yeah empathy relationships and envy there's very there's two very clear things coming out for this empathy relationships and envy and it's all about matters of the heart first of all with this envy first of all it's important not to analyze what anyone else has because you don't know what areas of their life are compromising so that they can have success in that area no one is perfect no one is fully balanced all we can do is continuously try to remain balanced but no one is ever you know no one is perfect so it's important not to look at just one area of someone's life like oh they have the perfect relationship first of all you only see what people want you to see that's number one but number two don't base that because like what if they have like the crappiest relationship with their parents or like they're they went through all this abandonment and just like all this other terrible stuff and they cry themselves to sleep every night like you don't know what people are actually you don't know what other area of people's lives are suffering so that they can have the good area that you see so with this envy card i'm not even going to read the bottom because that's the message that i'm getting for you guys not to analyze other people's lives especially the parts that they choose to show you and think of it as if it's exactly you can't take those things for face value um and then we have the empathy card this is about how Having empathy for people of from people of your past it was one of the hardest things for me to forgive people of my past who I had to work through this stuff with it was one of the hardest things for me to forgive them for what I had felt that they did to me um, but this empathy card is you know really you know when you're when you're at the tail end or when you've completed or gotten over something really truly learned from it when you feel empathy for them when you're like you know what they were put in my life to teach me this without them it would have been someone else so ultimately they were used by the universe to benefit me and I have empathy for them and I know that that, that behavior um, that they, ex you know, whatever happened, they have to work through that. They are going to be held responsible for that. But it's important not to hold that hate in your heart towards them. And then we have relationships. At the bottom of this one, it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So honestly, this is about kind of really just reanalyzing your idea of what the perfect relationship is or what love is and moving from there onward and upward like you know moving into higher grounds um so yeah group one that is your week that is a lot to unpack dm my instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading you can ask whatever question you want okay like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next all right group two with the yellowstone let's get right into it okay what is going down in terms of love for you guys this week so the first card we have that was under your stone is invitation interesting invitation okay can't hate on that that sounds fun invitation for what let's see and I feel like you guys manifested this invitation in a way it's like you're being invited literally out someone wants to take you guys out on a date or it's literally like you've manifested this person allowing you to get closer to them because we have the positive thinking card that just flew out as well. Okay. So we have ask a friend, positive thinking, and invitation. You know what's funny? With this ask a friend card, I'm specifically getting for one of you guys or some of you guys, there's someone in your friend group or there's someone that one of your friends know who you will really, really hit it off with if you basically give that situation a chance. <laughs> um, ask around ask your friends like do you know anyone that you know is single ready to mingle right now that i could you know i don't know try my luck with i'm sensing that 
a few of you have people who are closer than you think um i'll take it a few of you have people that are closer than you think that you would really hit it off with so it's important for you guys to ask a friend this week because the energy is just popping the energy is just good for that at this time so yeah let's see So we have passion, calling in your soulmate, and trust. Ooh, this feels like wish fulfillment a bit. It feels like something that you've been waiting for. With the calling in your soulmate and the positive thinking, I'm definitely sensing that this is something that you guys have manifested. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you guys, or one of you guys, a few of you guys, may be manifesting someone who's well-known, someone who's famous. And I feel like you're getting closer to them this week in some way, whether it's, I don't know, it could be a million things. I'm working on um, some things like that with people in the DMs as far as private readings and things like that. But um, calling in your soulmate, this feels like someone that you've manifested, even if you didn't like specifically set your intention for someone specific. Um, yeah, you've got, you guys have been working on this. And then we have the trust card. The situation is calling for you to have faith. This is kind of like the tipping point. So if you've been manifesting, 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 don't give up this week. <laughs> this is a sign. If you've been looking for a sign, like whether you should keep trying or not, Keep trying, okay? Keep trying. This is not the week to give up because I feel like we may just finally get that drop. It finally may happen for you guys. So just don't give up this week. Just give it one more week at least to continue to develop. And then we have the passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. For some of you, you're going to be getting an invitation this week and you're going to feel like it's unreal. You're going to be like, what? Um, the universe is basically telling you, don't chicken out. <laughs> don't chicken out. Uh, don't get in your own way with this situation. Seriously, allow it to develop, okay? A lot of coin energy so someone may have money we have the king of swords in reverse the seven of swords or sorry seven of coins in reverse and the ten of coins in reverse those are your cards I think it's too bright sorry I don't think it'll focus any more than that um, but with the ten of coins in reverse I feel like this is something you're being gifted with like this invitation is due to your hard work not because you're going out of your way to pursue someone if you feel moved to do that definitely do that but I don't feel like you guys really have to like go get someone I feel like this is more of a gift and the universe is letting you know that um, and then we have the seven of coins in reverse yeah more of that energy where it's like it's you, you don't have to put it up a whole bunch of hard work you can put your sword down you don't have to worry about making a specific plan this is more of a week that's really good for manifesting for you guys which is crazy interesting because typically um people are more comfortable with manifesting things than doing things in the real 3d world kind of way like in a physical kind of way um so it's rare that I even get energy like this, but I'm really happy about it. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys, where it's like, this is a, a good week for manifesting. Let's see what else we get. Ooh. So we have buy the book yin and regeneration. I feel like the universe is kind of throwing you guys a bone. I feel like the universe is kind of like giving you a little glimmer of hope. So you can definitely expect some sort of advancement this week. With the regeneration card, it just feels like you guys may have really been starting to lose hope. And it's like, at first you had so much energy because you really really wanted this you were calling in your soulmate you were all for it you were trusting the process you were doing your best you had released control and you were going to allow the situation to develop naturally but then time went by and you didn't know like the underlying energy that you can't sense like we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck again i don't think it's gonna focus but we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck so you are reading being rewarded and there are things that are coming your way but it's almost like you guys started to lose faith because you didn't see things happening which understandable but you're finally getting like a small win or closer to your goal in a very real kind of way where you would say oh I know this is sent directly from the universe because how did this even happen like a little bit of miracle energy in there too but with the regeneration it's kind of like you're being um you have a fire lit under you again it's like this energy where it's like something is happening 
and it's making you guys feel like you know what I'm I'm for this again I I, I want to do this this is something that I want I I started to doubt it <laughs> but I've realized through whatever you know you guys are being blessed with that this is actually something that I am willing to pursue and this is something that I do really want so then we have by the book you know honestly I feel like you guys have done your best at this point to kind of make certain things happen and releasing control and just manifesting is going to be the best way to get what you really want also when you're manifesting just a pro tip don't be too too specific about how you want things to come in because your manifestations are going to want to take the easiest route to get to you so it can happen the quickest um with divine timing so i sense divine timing is at work here so if you're feeling like the process is just taking too long understand that if timing is not correct your situation will not end the way that you want it to end anyway but um, don't be too too specific and then we have yin this is more about being a little nicer to yourself you guys may use you know like self deprecating talk you may you know talk about yourself in a negative kind of way and this is a reminder not to do that and not to get in your own way um, so where do I want to pull I'll pull from here let's see what else is going on for you guys this week I love that. So we have grounding, mystic healer, and stepping into power. Grounding, mystic healer, stepping into power. Um, stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Yeah, this is like a little bit of a pep talk kind of moment um, to you guys because I feel like the energy has just kind of been like, wah, wah. like maybe it's gone down for you guys. You haven't seen any improvement in your situation and you're just really starting to lose faith. I definitely know what that's like. I just had to slap my own back. Like I just had to slap my own hand to get myself to stop focusing so much on the when. It's so hard to distrust that things are literally going to happen in the perfect time but just as an example like I, I worked I've worked with people where it's like things have happened and it's just like the timing was wrong like they got in a relationship with someone and because they didn't handle a situation with someone else in the past that person came back and ruined everything that they had with their new person and that's why it's important for the timing to be correct so you can make sure that everything that's supposed to come before that comes before that so it doesn't come after that and ruin it you know um but anyway we also have the grounding card go deep explore your roots is what it says at the bottom of that one um yeah definitely time to ground yourself i'm feeling that it's time to really dig your heels in and make sure you're firm in what you want don't change what you want I don't feel like you guys are asking for too much so don't adjust what you want because you you're losing faith that it'll happen um, and then we have mystic healer healer healing energy flows through you is what it says at the bottom of that card so I see some healing happening as well this week because I feel like it's a little bit of a still week where it's really just time to I just tapping into the energy I do feel like this is a week where it, you guys can easily get distracted or easily get off track so it's important for you guys to stay on track this week um but yeah that's what I'm seeing for you guys group two DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading you could ask whatever you want for your reading like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next all right group three with the pink stone let's get right into it okay what is going on in terms of love for you guys this week so the first card we have that was under your stone is just to say no <laughs> just say no you know honestly I feel some temptation because it's funny because tapping into the energy typically you would think just say no would mean something like oh there's an ex coming back but no I feel like you guys are going to be tempted with a situation like dare I say with someone who may be already in a relationship someone who's married okay some like a teacher figure like something that just probably shouldn't happen like I feel like it's a matter of like a line being crossed that just shouldn't be hmm okay <laughs> let's see what else comes through with that group three what hmm Okay, so we have happy family and happy and content. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know why this temptation is coming through, but like 
someone is hitting on you guys this week or something is developing ooh, ooh, are you gonna brighten up I'm right here there you go um something is developing where it's like this shouldn't be explored though it's almost like someone is already in a happy relationship or a happy family <laughs> um and it's important for you guys to be the strong one this week and it's like you were already fine without them i really feel like this person is kind of disturbing your your peace like this is this person is coming towards you guys this person is making a step towards you guys group three and it's funny because this may be someone that you meet like at the grocery store this week where it's like they approach you because they see you fine or whatever and they kind of approach you without like their ring on or, or without hinting that they're already in something what that is okay that is so random like what else is coming through let me pull from this romance deck there's just a temptation kind of energy for you guys where it's like just say no and it could be an ex it could be someone who for some of you it's someone who walked away from the relationship with you or with the situation that you guys had to explore something with someone else now they're in that relationship with someone else they're not happy and they're basically trying to feel you out to see like where's her head at where's his head at like is he willing to you know if you don't have something on the side with me even though i'm in this relationship that i walked away from you for like but you guys are feeling it it's like you guys are tempted that's why the just say no energy is here either you don't know this about this person or you're you're already interested in this person oh my goodness that is messy yeah whatever shut up ugh, ugh, i hate this energy I want to scream, but I'm not going to scream. Um, we have past life relationship. It is safe for you to love and reconciliation. Are you serious, universe? You are really playing in my face. So <laughs> past life relationship, it is safe for you to love and reconciliation. So I think the brightness is too bright. I'll have to fix my camera settings because I don't think it's focusing. But anyways, someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we have past life relationship. You have known each other before is what it says at the bottom of this card. So to be honest, you may literally have a past life with this person. This could be someone that, and that's, okay, it's making sense. That's why it's so hard for some of you to say no, because you have experienced a past life relationship with this person. And it's like, you're so drawn to them and they're so drawn to you that no matter if they try to go like they did and explore a different connection it's not panning out for them the way that they thought it would i'm confused i'm confusion i'm gonna have to post some tarot because then we have it is safe for you to love at the bottom of that one it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so it's like why say no if it's safe for you to love this person there's definitely something that's hiding here there's something that's being hidden i'm not seeing there's something I'm not seeing. I'm so confused. <laughs> Two of Cups. Like, what? Which one is it? Some of you, okay, that makes sense. Some of you are having to say no until, like, say no to the reconciliation until they sort out everything with the other person involved. I'm just sensing that there's some sort of third party energy going on with you guys this week, group three. But it's like the other person that's involved is happy. They're happy with what they have going on with this person and they don't know that this person has one foot out the door. They're being very, they're hiding that. They're not being very forthcoming with how it is that they truly feel on the inside about their relationship with that person. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. The magician, the chariot, and then the queen of staffs in reverse. Oh my goodness, this is so messy. For some of you guys, you don't know that this is happening, but this is what is happening, okay? First of all, the universe is telling you to stay out of it. Just be crystal clear with what it is you're demanding from this person, but also do your research. Huh. This person is being forced to handle the situation 
But another thing that you have to remember about a magician is, is they do play tricks. So for some of you who you're meeting someone this week, you're like, wow, this person seems really cool. Do your research and understand that they may be wearing like a false mask about who they really are or what ties they have to other people or what they really have going on. Definitely do your research. But with this magician energy, for those of you who already know that this person has something else going on with someone else, make sure you're clear with them that it's like they up to them to handle it. You're not in the relationship with them. It's up to them to handle that and they will not hand they they will not be uh you know in a relationship with you guys until they do. I mean, we all have free will, so I can't force you to, you know, require that of this person, but it really is going to be in your best interest. Just curious, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, I see this moving forward. We have the six of staffs um, at the bottom of the deck. Um, but then we also have the chariot card. So honestly, honestly, I see things working out. I see things progressing. I see you getting to know this person better. But it's just like there's some things that really do need to be handled first. Like it's not fair for them to put you in this, you know. It's not fair for them to make you have to endure this. Let's see what else comes through. Hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. It's a messy situation, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. People make mistakes, and I just feel like they chose the wrong person, and they're wanting to come back and choose the right person this time around, which they feel is you. We have the tribe, deep knowing, and loyal heart. It's like they try to go out and experience whatever with the new person they try to you know go and explore a connection with someone else but ultimately they realized through this that they're loyal to you their heart is loyal to you and they feel like they missed out on an opportunity and it's safe for you to love this person because now they genuinely know that you're their person and they're choosing you this time because before i was like mm, i don't like that energy but now I understand why it's safe for you to love this person because they're actually choosing you. They have experienced other and they're still choosing you, you know? So it is what it is. And then we have the tribe card. I'm just feeling like there's other people involved. There's other people involved. This may be a messy situation with someone in your friend group, like you have feelings for someone in your friend group and they do too, but you're going to have to force them to cut things off with the other person. Both of you guys have a deep knowing that it's kind of meant to be. Both of you guys have a deep knowing that you have feelings for each other. And I just feel the next level of your situation with them being unlocked. <laughs> I feel like you guys are going to actually be able to explore this. But I just feel like it's kind of like a little messy around your situation. But it is what it is. Not everything is perfect. Not everything is that perfect kind of picture. But it's just causing a little bit of a stir partnerships and alliances destiny okay period um and intuition yeah intuitively you guys know that this is your person and you've been waiting for this destiny to play out you've been waiting for this person to get it together you've been very patient um and now it's like kind of like the pieces are finally starting to come align um with the intuition card you know that this is your person or you know that you have something left to explore with this person you know that there's questions that are not answered and you're looking to get them answered okay and it's destiny Woof, that's a lot like past life relationship that almost makes me wonder if you guys have like some unfinished like if you guys have like made a soul contract with the universe for each other or something like that because i just feel like this has to happen like even if they were to try to be with someone else it just would not work out not to say that their relationships would be horrible until they chose you but that's kind of how it feels with this partnership and alliances card it's it's like you guys have a duty that's why i'm feeling like soul contract energy with the partnerships and alliances it's like you made a promise to the universe that you guys were going to do whatever and you're being held, held accountable to do that so yeah, group three, that is what's going on in terms of love for you guys this week. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading, okay? Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below what video you want to see next. All right, group four with the blue stone, let's get right into it, okay? What is going down in terms of love for you guys this week? So the first card we have that was under your stone is plenty of fish in the sea, honey. 
there are plenty of fish in the sea and I feel like you guys are getting your swim on okay I just feel like this attractive energy for you guys group four like I feel like you're majorly attractive this week for whatever reason maybe you just have this glow about you maybe you've really invested in your skincare routine or your workout routine I don't know I know everybody and their mama has been doing Chloe Ting's workouts uh, her challenges including myself so maybe you guys have really worked on leveling yourself up or you're just in a really positive headspace but you guys are glowing okay and we have the plenty of fish in the sea card Ooh. You're realizing that you have options. <laughs> Get off your high horse really flew out. That could resonate with you or someone that you're dealing with. You're wanting them to get off their high horse. And it's like you've been talking about them to other people or they've been talking about you guys. What is going on? We're going to have to sort this out. Okay, so we have plenty of fish in the sea. Get off your high horse and gossip. So guys... First of all, with that gossip card, it really feels like on your end, but maybe it's on their end. Take it as it resonates. It just feels like someone has really been talking about the other person a lot because they're displeased with a way that they've been acting or something that they've been doing. And with the plenty of fish in the sea card, they're about ready to walk away. So interesting like we literally have two different energies here on one end you guys maybe because you're choosing to walk away from a situation with someone who would not get off their high horse that's what's making it so you have all of these options you're starting to realize you have more options than you had known before mm. Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate, passion, and forgiving and learning. Those are your cards. So honestly, it feels like here, you guys, you've kind of given up on someone. You've given up on someone and you're about ready to call in your real soulmate or someone who's actually ready. Because I just feel like tapping into the energy of whoever you may have been dealing with, they're just not completely ready. Um, at the bottom of calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So maybe you guys have been starting to manifest like your perfect boo, your perfect bae. Um, because, you know, whoever you it was you were dealing with before, they just couldn't get it together in enough time. But... I don't feel like you guys have like hate in your heart or I don't feel like you guys have any negative like emotions associated with that person. I don't feel like you're bitter towards anyone. I feel like you guys are in a pretty good energy, but you really are moving on. Uh, forgiving and learning. As you released and heal the past, you experience more love in present moments is what it says at the bottom of that card. You guys are ready to move on to bigger and better things and you're starting to realize there are plenty, plenty of fish in the sea and you have options. And then we have passion. Allow, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy is what it says at the bottom of that one. So honestly, it feels like you guys are just ready for some fun and you're having fun. Like this feels like fun to me. Feels like you're actually having fun. So let's see what else we get. Feels like you're finally experiencing that passion though that you've been kind of looking for either from someone specific or from your life. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Tower, the Three of Swords in reverse, and Strength. I feel like you guys may have gone through a karmic cycle recently and you're deciding to close it. And I don't feel like you're necessarily coming to an agreement with someone to close it. I feel like you're doing that within. With that Tower card, it's like things are coming crashing down so that they can be rebuilt. I personally love the Tower card because I know what happens after the Tower card. And after the Tower card comes a wish fulfillment and rebuilding and new energy and just so many beautiful things that it's worth things to come crashing down, especially things that aren't worth my time. Um, yeah. <laughs> to get there but with the three of swords in reverse it's almost like you tried again with someone it's like you've already given them multiple chances because this is like a perpetual kind of heartbreak I feel like maybe you guys have just learned something about yourself and you're starting to realize what love really is to you and what love really looks like coming from someone and you're not accepting the bare minimum anymore you're not accepting less than what you deserve not even bare minimum not to say someone's been constantly giving you less than what you deserve but it's like you guys really know you've learned what love is to you you know what love looks like at this point and you're realizing that you haven't been getting that in the past or from someone specific so now you're not accepting you know 
anything less than true love but with this three of swords in reverse i feel like this is a perpetual heartbreak it just feels like one thing after another like you've already had your heart broken or you've already been through something tough and then something else just happened again to compound on top of it just know that it's building strength it's building character and it really is for your betterment um i'm gonna pull to see what's coming now now that we're we're getting out of this cycle with all this yucky energy because i feel like guys you really have done what you needed to do at this point and you're going to be rewarded for it but just know this is going to make you so much stronger and the situation had to happen in order for you guys to actually meet your your true partner like your life partner That one or that one. Okay, I'll pull from this one. Let's see. Yeah. Aw, beautiful. Okay, so we have the mending, higher power, and yin. Mending, higher power, and yin. So I feel like you're actually being given the opportunity to mend a relationship that you have with someone. And honestly, this could be an old friend. For one of you, I'm getting a very specific message that you had a falling out with a friend due to someone you were dating. Either they got tired of hearing you constantly complain and just talk about how everything that was wrong. That's another just tip, okay? Don't tell your friends, your family, everything wrong about your partner. Make sure you balance that with the good things about them so they don't end up hating your partner, okay? But with the mending card, I feel like you're mending a bridge that kind of was torn down because of some sort of relationship drama. And this could be vice versa. This could be someone that you're dealing with who's going through this and you're finally being able to rekindle that friendship because they've realized that what they were experiencing before wasn't truly love at least for their highest and greatest good and then we have higher power you know honestly i'm getting a little bit of divine intervention for those of you who have been struggling to walk away from a certain situation this is a sign that the universe has your back and it's coming through so expect it prepare for it and know that you're getting help okay help is on the way but with this higher power i feel like your higher self is teaming up with the universe to really kind of sort things out for you and then i just feel this love coming through and I don't know the source of this love. I don't know if it's coming from you guys. I don't know if it's coming from friends. I don't know if it's coming from a new romantic energy because I just feel like this mending is also happening within. To be completely honest, I feel like you're calling in your soulmate, but I don't feel like this is the week like they're coming through. I feel like this is the week that you're tying up any loose ends that you haven't up until this point to prepare you for your soulmate. And then they're going to come through either the week after or, you know, sometime after that. But I feel like this love just kind of like pouring into your life. You're realizing you had support from people and places. You didn't have a clue. You know, you didn't even know that they even cared about you. I feel like you're getting support from other sources as well. To, and it's helping you. Helping you with this journey. Helping you through this. In the flow solitude and traveling lightly this is a really beautiful energy guys in the flow solitude and traveling lightly so in the flow at the bottom of this one it says everything is smooth sailing yeah i feel you guys just going with the flow and i don't mean that you guys aren't doing anything this week it just feels like you guys are not fighting anymore it's like you're over it you're tired anyways it's like you're tired of fighting you're tired of going against the grain and you're refusing to do it anymore and you're only doing like things that feel good to you it's it's a very good energy solitude in silence peace prevails i feel like you guys are finally making peace with a certain situation and with a certain person and you're realizing you know what maybe i just need to be alone for a while maybe i just need to take a break maybe i need to take a moment for reflection it feels like very much so you're tying up loose ends though it feels like you're it feels very cyclical like you're ending a cycle and then you're beginning a new one it feels like you're jumping almost on a new timeline um, and then we have traveling lightly at the bottom of this card it says simplify your life something that you can do is you can literally simplify your space um, take out some things that may be holding on to old energies I know that I had a um, I had a couple things um, in my old house that I just know collected 
negative energy I just know and I had to get rid of them and some of them had sentimental value so it's important to clear out your space declutter clear out your head you know mind body and soul there's different areas of your life that may be affected by these things so i just feel like this is a week for clearing out the clutter for you guys group four so yeah babe that was your spread dm my instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading you can ask whatever question you want for your reading okay like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next i love you be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one Mwah!